delayed flights, long lines, lost luggage, travel woes. I'm here with Bill Ranzik, and he's going to give us some of his favorite travel tips from the Hyde House here in New York City. Hi. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. It's good to be here. And, and you're right, traveling can be very stressful. Yes. Uh, that's why we're here to help. You've got some favorite travel tips that you actually says along the years has helped you travel smoother. That's right. You know, we uh, I teamed up with Hyatt House and Hyatt Place. We did a survey. We surveyed over a, a thousand travelers mm -hmm. all over the world from India to China, all across the United States. And we really wanted to get inside the mind of the traveler and find out how their lives were made easier. And 80% of them said they have a lot of tips and tricks that they use to reduce their stress, and I agree with them. And, okay. I, and I've got a couple of big ones, so All why right, don't you great. come with me? Let's take a look. So Packing. Well, not only packing, but eliminating checking your bag. Oh, right? that's a big problem. Right. You, you've been yeah. sometimes an hour waiting for your yeah. bag to come off. You or, land, and then it can take another half an hour for you to get to land. At luggage. least, right? Yeah. Or if you have to connect, your bag doesn't make the connection, yeah. and then you're in the city. Yeah. So I try to, to always carry my bag on, but you have to learn how to pack efficiently. One big trip is learn how to roll your clothes. Rolling right? the clothes. This is it keeps them wrinkle free and it opens up so much space. This little bag here, I can go for 10 days on 10 the road. Days? I was just in the Middle East and I, I went all That's through Dubai in the Middle East, 10 days with a carry-on bag. Including toiletries. Including toiletries. That's amazing, yep. that's amazing. That's a big one. Shoes. Shoes, another crazy tip. I take my socks, right? And I actually shove them in my shoes and I also do it with my tie. Oh wow. It frees up so much room in the bag, but it also acts as a shoe tree. Right? A shoe tree. So you know how shoe trees are heavy, yes. they're made of wood, they weigh your bag down. This keeps my the form on my shoes and it also doesn't crush them. Doesn't quite right, exactly. And I know where everything's at. My socks are in my shoes. And no more single socks that are lost. You have Precisely. pairs. I'm always like losing socks. Done. So packing, rolling. Yep, that's it. That's great. That's Carry wonderful. on, folks. Do I not check it. bags unless you have to. And what about the Hyatt House here? How is this place um, helping you? Well, be that was the traveler. big thing about the survey. The yeah. survey people said they want a seamless transi mm -hmm. transition from mm -hmm. their home to their hotel room, and they want roomy rooms. And, yeah. and that's the great it's thing roomy. about Hyatt and Hyatt Place. Yeah. These rooms are so roomy. If they don't want to go down to the 24-hour gym, they can work out right here. Yeah. They've got a little kitchenette. You've got a workstation. You've got a place to hang out and watch your favorite show. That was the other yeah. thing of the survey. 27% of the people say they binge watch their favorite shows when they're traveling. I know. That's when I watch all my movies, all my shows. What um, are you binge watching right now? I'm binge watching Netflix. It's I'm catching up on Narcos. Okay, yeah, and I'm that's a good one. I catch up on Game of Thrones. I haven't caught up I on that one. I have not watched season. that one. Don't yet. tell me anything. Okay. I noticed there's a washer dryer in here too. That's great too. Yeah, you Just can do your keep, laundry. Yeah. I mean, it's literally like having an in-town apartment, yeah. you know, which is great. It's yeah. very easy. And it's comfortable. You know what you're getting. There's no unwanted surprises. And that reduces the stress level when you're traveling. And one of the things about this survey is that it said a lot of people, a lot of business travelers, when they travel, they use it as a time to um, enjoy their business connections, kind of get away from home a little bit, but still remain connected to home. That's right. Yeah. yeah the, the, they said they like having the alone time. Yeah. But they wanted to maintain a connection at home. And, and that's important for me. Like last night, I FaceTimed with my son, Duke. Yeah. And we got the, uh, the Empire that State view. Building. I was showing him all the great buildings yeah. around me. and He felt like he was on the trip with me. So it was important for him and it was important for me that I got to take him with me without him actually physically being here. Physically being here. With all your years of traveling for, for business, definitely not checking in bags. But yeah. is there one thing that you kind of feel like is a pearl to tell everybody about traveling so you like smoother, more serene travel? I like consistency. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm a creature of habit. I like to... When I go to a city, I usually eat at a lot of the same restaurants, mm -hmm. you know, because I go to the yeah. cities over and over again. I know what I'm getting. Um, I'm not surprised or, or unpleasantly surprised. Yeah. And I think that's important. So I'm a creature of habit. When I come in here, I know that I'm getting a great room. It's comfortable. I've got great friendly staff that's there when I need them. Uh, and, and that makes my life easy. I don't have to worry about yeah. anything. And like little things like having a washer dryer and having a kitchenette and having it, you have everything you need right here. So. Yeah. I want to thank you for all yeah, your travel tips you. and yeah. for the roll idea. I'm going to have to try that next you gotta time. you got to roll your clothes, folks. Yeah, I may have to think about the shoe thing, but the rolling yep. I like. So thank oh, you so much. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. it.